Shout out to Stras Daddy. Always coming through. Goblins, Chris, or Miracles, Alec. We'll give chat five minutes for that. Read hard in this house. Yeah. Yeah, J uh, Jason Murray is incredibly good out of the... Uh, He's, I, I didn't think of him just because he's not actually a regular at my local game store recently. So he just didn't come to mind. But yeah, a beast. All right, so a turn one ponder and a turn one vial for me. Most likely getting a basic mountain here. Yep, and passing. Fetch for Alec. Ooh, no life totals here. This is my bad. I'll, I'll keep track for everybody. All right, so prismatic ending hit the vial. Kind of getting sick of that, everybody. I'm, I'm a little sick of my vials getting exiled. I'm tired of it. <laughs> Pile driver here after a wasteland. Wasteland not the best at the moment. Two basics on the board for Alec. And a pass. I'm sick of prismatic ending too, Lepark. I'm sick of it. I'm just playing. I like I like the card. It's cool. All right, Pile Driver gets in there, putting Alec at 18, and another Pile Driver. Brainstorm on end step, and I think we're gonna see a terminus here. At least that's where my mind is going when I'm uh, sitting in the seat there. I'm on the left of your screen, everybody. Notice the 90s magic playmat. Do you want a 90s magic playmat? There are none available for sale at the moment. It's something I'm working on. How hard should I be working on that? No, I'm not. I really don't. I really don't know. All right. Terminus puts the creatures on the bottom. Everybody saw that coming. And a pass. Goblin's able to refill after Terminus. Terminus, not the worst. We have resources. Cycling Gem Palm Incinerator. And a port, a port and a pass. Not a very good turn. Cyanar just wants to be a drummer. Okay. Tropical Island. And Jace the Mind Sculptor, and that resolves. Not worried about Jace so much either. Goblins is definitely able to beat Jace. Munitions Expert is a real card. All my, some of my creatures have haste. Not all. Some of my creatures have haste. All right, a fetch here. And let's see what I search up. Basic Mountain. Tapping three. Or not tapping three. Goblin War Chief to play. And then it'll attack Jace. Jace down to one. <laughs> Dark Zero hates Prismatic Ending too. Is Prismatic Ending big in Modern? Like, is it as annoying in Modern? Because Modern has higher mana value cards in general, right? Is, is Prismatic Ending as prevalent as it is in Legacy? Yes. Okay. There you go. There's the answer. 
Prismatic Vista fetching here. It's a basic island, uh, basic forest. Modern has become quite low to the ground. Gotcha. Like, is, is Titan, Amulet Titan, still hot and modern, or is that completely obsolete now? We're somewhere in the middle. Very hot. Okay. Like, what, what are the top three to five decks in modern right now? What archetypes? Doesn't see a lot of play anymore, says Dark Zero. Okay. So some disagreement in chat about Amulet Titan. Still a real deck, but a weaker one these days, says Childith. Gotcha. All right, that War Chief is prepared to attack, but I'm sensing a, a Coatl or a Plow or an Endurance is, is on the agenda here for Alec. Let's see if I go for attacks here. I actually don't remember what I do. Matron. Costs one less. Tutor's a goblin. All right, let's see what we search up here. Is Pile driver a possibility would have haste. There's also ringleader to refill and worry about, you know, um, winning the game later. Hammer time. Oh, yeah. Hammer time is a top deck. Elementals, Foothall, Footfalls, Cascade deck, and Blue Eye Control, top five. Gotcha. <laughs> Leparc's waiting for uh, Caracas to go back down. Uh, for Death and Texas deck size to go back down, rather. Living end is seeing a lot of play. Okay. So Goblin Lackey was my play. Yeah, 60 card Death and Taxes is still playable, I think. You can still try that. Lackey and Matron in play for me. Here's Uro. I believe Alec is back up to 20 now. Not 100%. Alright, escaping Uro now. Or at least thinking about it. Escaped Uro is really annoying. Goblins can beat Uro. We can blow. We can blow up Uro with munitions experts. And. Uh, block and sack and all that stuff, but still very annoying. In Brazil, cards are insanely more expensive here, especially specific editions. So, like, in Brazil, for example, are people playing Commander? Are people playing Legacy? Um... um Paper. 
Or are people just strictly modern and, and standard and stuff? Okay, Commander is huge. Okay, because I know in some countries they don't, they don't really have Commander that much. Yeah, outside of North America, the market is quite different. Even in Mexico, I, I went to some LGSs in Mexico. Uh, game shops in Mexico, the singles are wildly different prices than they are here in the States. All right, ringleader reveals four goblins and puts them in hand. Looks like munitions expert, goblin war chief, sling gang, and goblin matron. So Uro, Uro is going to be uh, have to have to survive a munitions expert at some point, I believe. Four off the top, and ringleader feels good. Right, legacy a little bit less. That's understandable. <laughs> War dog, be careful. Be careful what you wish for. I kind of like that. I don't even play commander, but I like that we have a commander community because it makes my uh, cards that I don't need worth money. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Cards that I will never ever use otherwise are worth money now. And I could trade into stuff I want. All right, Jace down. Uro also in play, uh, able to block, but Jace still dies. Lackey got blocked there. Alec prioritized that. My locals has like 20 legacy players, but they rotate. We get 8 to 12 for weekly events. Yeah, that's a, that sounds about normal. Oh, nice. They're going to uh, reopen strictly for fully vax people. I'm with that. I haven't really talked about this on stream ever, but... I'm not, I'm just not really uh, like I'm not really down for hanging out with not vax people, so I just won't be going to any events that are not fully vax. I know I know that's like me being. I don't even know what the word is. I, I I'm just not down. I just have no interest. Like I see I see events getting posted. And uh, I see, <laughs> and I already know. And, and in the YouTube comment section, I'm, I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get yelled at for this, but because the last time I mentioned vaccines on stream, a bunch of people got angry with me. <laughs> but um, but uh, I see events getting posted on Facebook and Twitter and whatnot, uh, magic events, and there's just like no details whatsoever about vaccines or masks or anything. I'm just, I'm not going. No interest. Half our legacy players now play commander. That's okay. People trying other stuff. What LGS is this in New York City? This is Game Storia in Queens, New York City. Astoria. Would I go to an event where some people are naked? No. I would not. Would you? Dark Zero, thank you for 100 bits. Thank you, Dark Zero. Dark Zero extends the lead on the leaderboard. Would I go to an event where only FBB cards were allowed? Maybe. <laughs> I don't own enough cards, though, from FBB sets. You know what, though? Here's the thing. Uh, all right. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm in, like, uh, bad takes and, and people who can get mad at me territory right now. I'm, I'm going to go there, though. 
It's not even the health risk about the unvaxxed people that bothers me. I just don't want to socialize with people that don't think getting vaxxed is important. That's what it is. I, I, I just like I, I just don't want to hang out with them. Lord and Ellendale, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I know like like someone's gonna comment right now, less than point oh percent people who are vaccinated get I know I know that. I just don't want to socialize and hang out in a place where people just don't think it's important to get vaccinated. It's just not my thing. I'm just not in the mood. All right, matron. All right, I messed up now, everybody. Now the YouTube comments are going to go nuts. This is the, uh, I'm going to get a bunch of hate. I'm here for it, though. I'll, I'll absorb it. Dark Zero must agree with me. <laughs> Thank you, Dark Zero. 25K for Dark Zero unlocking an emote. Earned the Vivictus Asmati 25K bits badge. Congratulations, Dark Zero. Thank you for the 2,900 bits. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the support, most of all. Um, the, the, you know, all the people that have been supporting this channel, keeping the channel alive, I appreciate all of you, but... You know, Dark Zero in in the in the history books of '90s MTG will have an asterisk as a a huge supporter and a and a uh, a, a good friend too. I mean, I I know Ronald in, and Dark Zero in real life, so it 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 feels good. It feels good. I will <laughs> blue blue white absorb it exactly. Perfy is not telling me not to be afraid to be honest and be myself. We love you who, for who you are. Thank you, Perfy. I appreciate it. I know I just lost some people, but it's all good. <clears throat> last, the last time I talked about masks and vaccines on the stream, the YouTube section, it, it, it needed... Uh, I, I almost... <laughs> <laughs> It, it it got ugly. It got ugly. Some people are crazy. All right. Not looking good for me here. Sylvan Library, Uro, and Endurance. I'm facing down. Kiki Jiki in hand. Munitions Expert in hand. But uh, two cards in play. No, don't be sorry for bringing it up. You're, you're perfectly fine for bringing it up. I can choose to say whatever I want, when I want. Where's my commentary? Come on. Wait, what? Yeah, this game is one-sided, which is why we're getting off track. Playing Mass Vandal. Yes, I do have one Mass Vandal in the main. In case anybody's tuning in for the first time and is expecting, like, um... SCG Grand Prix level commentary. This is a weird show. This is this is just something else. I do have enough mana for Mux Daddy. I do. Wish I had a cavern right about now, though. I'm thinking about my next move here. I gotta update life totals. I'm not sure what life totals are. Twenty. Yeah, I have one Vandal in the main. Sling Gang was the play. Brainstorm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have the stack. I should have my way 
Yeah, sorry about the glare. Uh, you know, we're mo we're moving around the local shop, and uh, some light in some places is an issue. I don't have a designated table. I just move around, round to round. Sacking two red. After the source to plow shares on the prospector, so two red floating. Mass Vandal is a 1-3, actually. Which makes it pretty good for blocking Raghavans. Goblin Matron to play here. Nice blocker still, yeah. Pile driver to hand and an endurance on end step. Not putting my graveyard on the bottom. You've been trying um, Mass Vandal and Elves as well. Doesn't Elves just blow up Artifacts and enchantments way more easily, though. Aren't there other options? What? Why? Why mass vandal in elves? You also can't sack elves that easily. Just wondering. Um, ah, for Caldra. Uh, so, so for damage, I'll sack Drainy. So I go to 17, I go to 6, and then I'll go to have the 3. I lost track of life totals. If anybody heard what the life totals were, let me know. I totally missed it. CMC2, yeah. That's true. Thank you. I like my... I've had those go same goblin tokens since I'm a kid. The same exact ones. From my anthologies box, I got... At one point, when I was a kid. I didn't even get them in unglued packs. In the Anthologies box set, you get unglued tokens. Yeah, exactly. You can't use it unless you have a creature in the graveyard. Thank you for the life total check. That sounds about right, based on my memory. Thank you, Lord Elendil. Kiki Jiki, Kiki Jiki, and Munitions Expert are in hand for me. Internet Sensation Perfy is here. Yes. Yeah, this band flash control is good. Uh, 
Sling Gang Lieutenant, Goblin Token, Goblin Pile Driver, your munitions expert on my creatures in play in case the glare uh, made anybody forget what's going on. Someone was born in Delver. Wow. <laughs> All right. Pile Driver able to successfully block Uro without dying. Sack the token to Sling Gang. So after sideboarding in this matchup, if that's what you're wondering, for goblins, uh, I have red blasts and pyroblasts that I bring in. And hold on, let me update live totals here. Um, so I got red blasts and pyroblasts. Oh, you know what? Let me let me grab my deck real quick. I could show you. My exact sideboard. Oh my goodness, I'm all tangled up. This is embarrassing. I got too many pairs of headphones. Okay. So in my sideboard, options are four Red Blast and Power Blasts, a Caracas, Pithing Needle, and Relic of Progenitus. Those are the cards that uh, are worth bringing in. We're thinking about bringing in. All right, a Muxus resolves here, and a whole bunch of goblins are on the board. Needle, needle could be for Jace. I'm not necessarily bringing Needle in. I was just looking at what cards are uh, available. So a Goblin Token, Mog War Marshal, Goblin Lackey, Goblin Crater Maker, and Munitions Expert in play for me. Do I want Cavern of Souls? Absolutely. Four Cavern of Souls. Those are very necessary. Cavern of Souls actually is a big, big reason why I win most of the matches I play against this Bant, uh, these Bant Piles. Prismatic ending on Lackey. Uro back in play now. Kiki Jiki in hand for me. Mogmore Marshall will die. Kiki Jiki getting cast here. And that's going to get forced. I feel like this is turn like 37. I play three ports. Three ports, four wastelands. Crater Maker, Munitions Expert, and two Goblin Tokens in play for me, facing down an Uro. Sylvan Library resolving here. Well, for now, I wasn't firing off waste because I needed the mana. See, I've been tapped out trying to get my, my board back online. For a couple of turns. Let's see if I start firing them off now. It would make a little bit more sense. 
Turn Zero Games, thank you for five gift subs. Thank you, Turn Zero Games. I appreciate you. Ten total gift subs so far for Turn Zero Games. I really do appreciate it. What's up, Matt? How's it going? Everybody, please thank Turn Zero Games if you received a gift sub. Yeah, <laughs> that's so true, Force of Phil. It, it does feel kind of funny sometimes. It works, though. All right, so I wasted two lands. Now an Ice Fang Coatl comes into play. Yes, thank you, Turn Zero Games, again. <clears throat> All right, so a port of the planes on upkeep. And now Matt, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Alec may be uh, cut off of white. Let's see. <laughs> Kevin, it, it it it's a it's a sad show. Eleven bits got there. Support your local Banucci, yeah, for sure. That's what I always tell people. You never play band control. <laughs> it's quite a match. All right, now for, now for time for blocking. Let's see. I believe that was a Skirk Prospector I just played there. Not a very good play. Sorry about the glare. Not much I could do about it at this point. It's harsh lighting at the local. And, uh, yeah. Five color controller bust. Yeah, see, we need Astrolay back. We need Astrolay back. <laughs> All right, the attack is just too much. And game one goes to Bant. Game one goes to Bant, everybody. Is this a GoPro recording? It is a GoPro recording. I don't recommend uh, using GoPros for recording magic matches, though. The editing is not the best. You don't carry light diffusers with you everywhere. No, I don't. I actually, like, at, at my local shop, I don't have a designated table. I just move my setup around wherever I go, you know, wherever I sit. So, you know, the, 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 light, the light source is in a different spot no matter where I sit, and sometimes it's, there's just glare. I try to avoid the tables right under the lamps, but, I mean, you know, it's, it's not a movie set, everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Force of Phil. What do I recommend? What do I recommend for recording matches? Um, I mean, it depends what you want to do. It depends what you want to do. If if you want to if you want to stream, you could just use webcams, Logitech webcams. Um, if you want to uh, record, I, I I mean, for recording, there are like infinite possibilities really you can you can go to best buy or uh amazon right now and just buy a video camera and hit record gopro not great so the i'm i'm happy with the image quality and i hope everybody watching it as well for the gopro that's recording this right now but gopros record in 20 minute um increments so after the fact you have to edit everything into one video now, I have a beefy editing setup here, so it works for me, but I wouldn't tell somebody who's just using like, you know, a laptop to record one hour long magic matches on a computer. 
uh, on a, on a GoPro rather and edit it on the computer because it's going to take hours and hours and hours and hours for them to turn it into a video. It's just not. It makes no sense for a consumer. Uh, you know, people using consumer computers and stuff. Will, you, will I teach you how to be a pro at Premiere and After Effects? Fun fact, I actually do not use Premiere. I don't use Premiere. I use Final Cut X. And, that, and that's why I've been fired from every job. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I really don't like Adobe Premiere. Sorry, Adobe, if you're watching. And all the uh, all the all the film pro, film pros watching that that use Premiere, I'm sorry, I I can't do it. I don't like Premiere. I started with Final Cut Seven. We're we're getting really off topic right now. I started with Final Cut Pro Seven, and I've stuck with Final Cut Pro ever since. So basically, the my entire career, I've been using Final Cut. Final Cut X is the well, they have Premiere on Mac. But Final Cut X is the Apple editing software. And I don't really know how to use After Effects at all, really. It's not my thing. Yeah, I just got dropped from the, the, from the possibility of an Adobe sponsorship, I know. Funny enough, though, I do use other Adobe software like Photoshop and, and all that stuff. Why do I prefer Final Cut? I mean, it's just like out of habit. I've just been using Final Cut for more than 10 years professionally. And I just never switched. And the few, the few jobs I pick up here and there where I'm forced to use Premiere, it just takes me so much longer because I'm like looking through the menu. Where is this tool to do this one thing? And it just like slows me down. So I just keep using Final Cut. I also don't work on, I personally don't work on projects where I'm working with other editors very often, um, or at least a large team of other editors. So I can kind of do whatever I want and it affects nobody else. DaVinci Resolve is available for Apple. I do have that program and, it, and it's good too. It's a good program. I just don't use it out of habit. Yeah, Adobe, if you're watching, maybe if you pay me, I'll spend some time uh, brushing up on Premiere. <laughs> is Final Cut expensive? It is $300, I believe. And then you have it forever. Meanwhile, I pay $600 a year for Adobe Creative Cloud and I don't even use Premiere. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm the... F the fool. I paid three hundred dollars for Final Cut one time. Pay six hundred dollars a year for Adobe Creative, and I don't even use Premiere. Maybe, maybe I'm the clown. Maybe I'm the sucker. And now that now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like a sucker. <laughs> I feel like a sucker. I'm sorry. I'm not keeping track of life totals. It's just too hard. Let me know if you hear live totals. Adobe CC is such a scam. Yeah. People rarely use more than two, three soft out of the full package. Yeah. How many more matches are there for tonight? We have one more after this. One more after this. I think. I think there's one more left. At least one more left. There may be more. I have to check.
You get Adobe Creative Cloud for free, Perfy? How do you do that? If anybody hears the life totals, just let me know in chat, please. I can't hear it for some reason. My audio, my audio settings are a mess right now. It's not coming through to my headphones. You're making a good point, Runkor. Well, watching matches back that I played in, like I am right now, uh, I, I notice things. I noticed, like, beyond just, like, strategy. Yeah. 17. That's all I can It's only going to go so much if you're not. Yeah. I'll, uh, look, while, while you're doing that, we'll just see what you get. I'll tap these two. Well, I'll do, I'll do it one at a time, just in case you're on. No, it's fine. Right. Just trying to save time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tap those two. Go ahead. Draw. Trying to cut my opponent off a of blue here. I know they have three fetches in play, but just trying to make them shuffle their deck and pay life. Uh, 14. <laughs> How much of a problem is Containment Priest? Good question, because um, after this match ended, a couple of people that were standing around asked me that same question. Containment Priest is a little bit of a problem. It's a big problem I have a vial in play and I need to use it. But it, Containment Priest, other than that, just shuts off Muxus, the creatures from Muxus. All right, Red Blast hits Uro there. I see I have another Red Blast in hand. So Containment Priest is like pretty annoying, but not game winning. Containment Priest obviously much better against a deck like Sneak and Show or something like that. Yeah, it would affect Lackey as well. Yeah, it would. It would. That's true. Pashalik, the play here. I red blasted a uh, dress down a moment ago. Munitions expert here targeting containment priest, so that's getting KO'd finally. Tapping, okay, casting endurance on end step and on upkeep. I'm gonna tap the only white land, and he's gonna plow Pashalik in response. Now, I remember at this point in the match, we're getting low on time here. And uh, we'll start playing a little bit faster, I think. Yeah, but that's, that's all you 
some cold uh, steel damage. I got mustard in the fruit. All right, a munitions expert and a ringleader flipped off Moxis. Blows up the endurance and now revealing matron munitions expert and putting them in hand. A pretty good Moxis there. Um, and goblin ringleader will, at will attack. I almost passed the turn, but I remember to attack. Priest stops um, greens on Zenith targets, but... Um, but uh, Grist is a planeswalker when it's when it's in play. Right? Is that the interaction? Engineered explosives on one, I believe. On two, engineered explosives on two. Yeah, I I actually don't know how it works with Clothis. That's a good question. I would assume it works the same way as Grist. No cards. Alright, I'll be turning it over. Sling gang entering play here, putting munitions, uh, put a Muxus out of range to be blocked by Uro successfully. Responding to the engineered explosives by casting munitions experts and swinging for the kill. 